And we're back with our load. <clears throat> that sounded. Yep. And we're back with the uh, organic polymer. Uh, it's your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. Oh wait, I think the, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, pardon me. Anyway, it's your friendly neighborhood slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Mark Survival Evolved peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. We're back doing stuff and things, playing some Mark. It's gonna be a good day. There's some new stuff we're gonna talk about today. Some new stuff and things that we're gonna build. It's gonna be super fun. I can't wait. But we need a little bit of resources to start off with. Some other stuff and things. Let's get into it and tell you. I will tell you now. Listen to my words as I will tell it to you now with my words. We are gonna be playing around with the industrial cooker and the new bunk bed, Ingram. This modern bunk style bed has two mattresses and a high thread count. Acts as a respawn point, 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 point. For you and your tribe with half cooldown time. Oh, baby, the industrial bunk bed stuff and things are cool. And then we've got the Engram for the industrial cooker. Burns gasoline to cook large quantities of food quickly. Put various ingredients into this to make soup, stews, and dyes. So basically what this would do is the same stuff and things as the cooking pot. And when it says food, I don't think it means the industrial grill, like that sort of food. I think it means the industrial... You know what I mean? Like, foods like we can make food. You know what, you, you know what I mean? Anywho, so let's take a moment and say, let's take a moment for you. For you! That's right. No, not you, everybody. You, you, just you. Right now, watching, you listening to me, the one person. That's right. For you. Thank you very much for coming to hang out with me today. Thanks for showing your support. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so a couple things to talk about. First of all, in case you are interested in the technical stuff and things, the industrial cooker is a low, low, the low, low price of 60 engram points, and uh, the bunk beds are 28 engram points. So kind of expensive. Um, now, over inside of here, let's take a look at the ingredients, the crafting requirements 300 polymers, 100 or 1800, pardon me, metal ingots, 450 cementing paste, 300 oil. Now, kind of on par with the other cookers, like. You know, not quite as amazingly expensive as the um, Industrial Forge, which is, I think, kind of well worth it. Like, it's a really nice thing. And the Industrial Grill, it's expensive. Well, it's funny. This was in one of the older recipes. You can tell only 200 metal ingots needed. Don't update it, devs, please. Um, but this guy, this guy's expensive. 80 polymer for the bunk beds, 320 metal, uh, 280 fiber, which is no big deal. And the hide is no big deal either. The pelts and the polymer we're low on. And over here, we need polymer as well. So we're low on a little bit of the stuff and things that we're going to need. So I feel like it's time to take out Ultimate Destroyer, head over to the northern biome area spot place thing, get some more pelts, get some more uh, of the stuff and things, the polymer, the organic polymers, and bring them back to the base and build all these cool new bits. I will be our bees, peeps. I'm just a pelt machine, and I don't work for nobody but you. Attack me, wolves! I'm just a pelt machine, and I don't pelt for nobody but you. Get your pelts over here. I'm just a pelt machine, and I don't work for nobody but your pelt. Mm, give it to me, the pelt machine. I'm just an organic polymer machine, and I don't work for nobody but you. Go to do. Oh, just an organic polymer machine. And I don't organic polymer for nobody but you. That's right, I need a lot more. Organic polymer machine. This song is bad. This is way worse than the pelt one. The pelt one was not so bad. This I don't know. I might have to cut this out. <laughs> and we're back with our load. <clears throat> that sounded. Yep. Yeah. And we're back with the uh, organic polymer. So uh, let us, let, let, let's squeeze by over in this really type of direction. Let's go ahead and take a look for our pelts of which we have 140. Way to go ahead and just poop, right? That's just great. We don't need to, no, it's good. I want it to work uh, with your poops all over my area. All right, so Ultimate Destroyer has ultimately destroyed and we've got all the organic polymers now. Uh, I killed an Alpha Raptor, so I got one of these, uh, drop that on the ground, and a couple of uh, apprentice picks, so nothing major there. Let's go ahead and do a sort one of these, and then every time you drag something out, it restores. Weird. Okay, and let's just grab all the organic polymers that we can. I think we've got plenty, plenty. We might us see 
how this is going to work out. So how many of these organic polymer bits can we fit inside of you? There we go. We've made the bed. And I think we're full. I think that's all we can fit for Nowsies. So let's go ahead. I think I have enough for both. Let's count this up again. 80 polymer and 300. We have plenty. So to make room, let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's go ahead and construct the bed. Let's take a look at our experience. 0860. 860, 987, 127 experience points. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Let's go ahead and squirt the rest of our organic polymer in. Are we squirting it? Are you getting squirted in? Are you full of organic polymer? Let's pull out the bed. Pull out the bed. Nailed the days to keep it up. All right, so now we've got basically full of organic polymer. Oh, there it is. We can do the cooker. All right, so 0987. And... <laughs> whoa, whoa, holy crapo. Holy crapo, that was worth... 0987? That was like 5,000 something experience. 5,500? That was a huge amount of experience. That was awesome. It was completely worth it to build it. We got a huge amount of experience. And now we've got all this extra organic polymer that's just going to go to waste because it all it all becomes not organic polymer. How long do we have on this? 26 minutes. What can we make with organic polymer really quickly? We don't really have anything to make with organic polymer really quickly. So we'll just let it despawn, unfortunately. But all right. So now we've got the bunk beds. We've got the industrial cooker. Let's go ahead and take a look at our bunk bed sitch. And see what we're going to do with this. So, the bunk bed sitch. Hmm. All right. So, it's just bed sized. It's just bunk bed sized. We don't really have, like, a bedroom to speak of in any of these areas here. I'm not really sure where we would place our bunk bed, to be honest with you. Um, I want to build a bedroom. But I'm thinking that what we're going to do is build an extension to the base up top here. And that's where the bedroom's going to go. So, but it would be, like up higher so probably from like these four posts this post this this post this post over here there's a post underneath there oh no no, no. we got our turret there hmm uh, <laughs> maybe up here maybe these four posts we'll go ahead and build up to build our bedroom so right into this really type area but it's going to be like raised up off the ground and be connected with a ladder so that's not really going to do it for us let's go ahead and just pop down here and i'll tell you what just for nowsies because we can Let's just go ahead and squirt the bed over here. We might as well. It'll just be a thing. So we can check it out. And then it is very expensive, but we can just rebuild it. So let's just go ahead and place that bad boy right there like that. Oh, look how clean it looks. Oh, my God. Oh, it's not. You can't actually stand on the bunk bed. So, oh, wait. Is it, like, completely not a thing? Like, it's completely not a solid? I didn't know that. I don't know if that's the way with beds. It probably is, and I just didn't realize it. We are in the bed. Look at us. Hold on. <laughs> Tiny is a bed man. What does that even look like? Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> All right. So there's our bunk beds. Um, and we go ahead like one of these. We can fast travel. We can rename the bunk bed. So let's rename the bunk bed to like uh, bunk bed. And with the slip gator symbol on it. And then that way we'll know. Anybody will know that they can spawn on there. And it is a thing. All right, so we did it. We did it. Nailed it. Nice to can't be stopped. All right, let's get Ultimate Destroyer out of the way a little bit. Let's have him come over here. Let's take a look at what this industrial cooker is going to be like for us. If we can one day get off of our bird, we can do it. I believe in it. I, I, then we did it. I can't believe it. We actually made it off the bird. All right, so here we go. Industrial cooker. How large are the art thou? Uh, ooh, ooh, perhaps amazing spot for you, industrial cooker. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Oh, I like how it's fitting. That's that's very fitting <laughs> that it's so fitting. Um, All right. Maybe in betwixt the two of those. Let us get an idea of if we're even here. I'm using the edge of that. That and that. See, like that. And we'll go like one of these. Like that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Now that it's the cabby stops. And let's just place this bad boy right here. Oh, baby. Check it out. So it just looks like huge, like, that's cool. It kind of looks like huge 50-gallon. Uh, oh, no. Like 50-gallon cooking pots. Let's take a safe road back into the base. So that's pretty cool. It is interesting, and I've seen this is a little bit weird. See how, like, the refrigerator texture kind of matches 
the same color as the fabricator texture, which kind of matches the same color as the industrial furnace, although the industrial furnace is a bit darker. Um, this is kind of like completely different. It's a little bit different, but it does look very realistic, I think, to what like, an, like a cooking pot would look like in some sort of arc universe. Like it makes sense to me. I get in my brain if that makes any sense to you. It's got a little bit of a readout. Look at that. We can tell what the temperature is. And what is it? What else have we got here? It's got, oh, that's metal floor. 13,000 HP zores. We can access the inventory and demolish. That's all we can do. Bam. Must use gasoline to light the pilot, put various foods in to cook advanced consumables, cook super fast. So does it cook meat? Because that's kind of like one of the things that everybody's kind of wondering. Is this like replacing the industrial grill? Like, I know that you guys may know this already. Um, I was away for the update, so some of you guys may already know kind of what's going on with it. But, like, does it cook just meat? So let's find out. Uh, let's put that in there like that. Turn that bad boy on. Oh, did you see that? That looks so cool. Oh, baby. It's got, like, a whole thing. Oh, that's cool, man. Does it have a readout on the other side back over here? No, it doesn't. And it doesn't burn you if you're, like, standing on it like a firewood. So that's interesting. Oh, I love how that looks like a propane. That's such a great thingy doodler. All right. So it is... And it looks like it is not cooking the meat. So put various foods in this to cook advanced consumables. And that makes sense. So just advanced consumables. Now is a piece of prime meat an advanced consumable? I'm going to take a wild guess and say it is not. What I'm guessing this is going to be for is for like if we were to be doing um, kibble or stuff like that. Now, I'm also going to guess that this bad boy needs water. Now, for, as far as I know right now, you can't hook, like, water up to it. Um, which would be, like, the most amazing thing ever. If they just had it so that, you know what I mean? You just had water piped right into it. Um, dream come true. So that means we're going to have to have some water up here of some sort. Here you can see that, obviously. And this, I pretty much figured this, but I wanted to show you guys. The raw prime meat's not working. The regular meat's not working. So, not something that we can cook up here with this stuff. And actually, we can just drop this all on the ground. We don't need it. Uh, we don't need it! All right. So, we got that all dropped on the ground. So, we're going to have to get some water up here. And then, in addition to the waters... What else? Oh, maybe we could... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe, like, right here, we could get some water, hot water action. Um, we need some water. But I also want to test out how it works with kibble and how fast it cooks stuff. Um, let me take a look real quick. Inner engrams. Let me see here. Metal. And this is what we're looking for. Water reservoir. So let's go ahead and just search for water. And we will learn the water reservoir. The metal water reservoir. And I'm assuming this is a fabricator. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it isn't? Is it a smithy? It is a smithy. So it's just 75 metal ingots and 25 cementing paste. Of which we've got plenty in there. Um, let's go ahead and... Grab, what do we only have? A hundred more metal? That's it? Oh my gosh. I'd like to build, like, at least four of these bad boys. It looks like right now I can only build one. No, no, no. We should be able to build more than one. Oh, four. There we go. Nail the ACKV. Stop. Right in front of my face, peeps. So let's craft four of these. How much XP do you get for those, anyway? Uh, what was that? Four? Yeah, four. Um, okay. So... What I'm thinking we might do in order to get our water sitch fixed up over in this area is go ahead like one of these. And then I'm thinking we might. For real, you won't place on a ceiling. Why do you hate your subcater? Will you only place on a foundation? You will only place on a foundation. Okay, so we can't place this on a ceiling. Uh, it looks like. Wait, no, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Hold on a second here, peeps. We gotta safely jump over the edge. Jump, safely jump over the edge here. I'm pretty sure these are foundations. Yeah, these are all foundations. So why won't a place? Maybe we should use our brain and read. No snap point. Derp! I completely forgot. All right, we need to get some pipes going. I'm I'm silly. So I'm thinking also what we're gonna do. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna put a couple more refrigerators. I think two more fridges would be really sweet. Um, and so that will go right in this early area like that. We're going to need a spot to make the jerky, which I think might go on this wall right here. Maybe six, um, preserving bins over there in order to make the jerky. Maybe a couple more refrigerators right there. And then our, this will be like where our water tanks go. Um, all right. So I'm going to work on that. This is going to be cool. We'll get the water set up over here. 
I'm going to get a pipe. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get a pipe and a tap and all that stuff ready to rock, and then we will BRBs, peeps. And we're back, and it's raining. And the reason that it's raining is because I waited till it rained. And, well, there's other... But d d never mind. Actually, the reason that I'm waiting till it's raining is because one of the things I thought of as I was over here before, and I was like, blah, 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 play some tanks, and they will be so great. And then, blah, blah, blah. And then I thought to myself, self, there's a roof up here. Will this still fill up? Nope, it sure won't. Check it out. Water not irrigated. Does not work. Does not work. So we got to think some other way to get this done. Um, I'm thinking about sticking the water tap right here in betwixt the d the two uh, cylindrical bitty bits of right there. Yeah, like this. This is what I'm trying I'm just thinking about putting it right there. I think it's going to be great. But what I think we're going to need to do in order to make this happen is place the water tanks out in behind like a so. So that brings up a whole other thingy. Like that brings up a whole can of worms because I kind of want it to not look terrible. And I really don't have a lot of metal. Whoa, 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 whoa. So let's go, let's head over here a little bit and just kind of take a look. If we were to come out here like this, it's not really in between. Mm. So it's going to be a little bit wacky, is what I'm saying. It's not really in between two foundations. Like it's not really centered. Uh, this being one foundation from here to here, this being another one from here to here. So you can see that the cooker is not really centered on any anything, so to speak. Um, so, not really sure how this is going to work out, but I think for now, what we will do is just set it up. Like, we're not going to get the aesthetics done straight away, but we'll just set up the things. So, it'll at least be working right now. So, what we can do is go like one of these. Now that Ace can't be stopped, we shall now take our these guys, like this. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Ready? Now that Ace can't be stopped, I can't believe I did it. And then... And then, nail the dice that can't be stopped. Not irrigated. What? Why are you not irrigated? You're not underneath the roof. There we go. We're getting a little bit of water. Are you getting a little bit of water yet? That one's getting a little bit of water. Are you getting a little bit of water? Yeah, they're getting a little bit of water now. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this bad boy up like a so. Let's just make sure it's squirting out the right way. Nail the dice that can't be stopped. It has water. Unbelievable. Okay. So now these got to fill up. We've got a lot of water to go. Now, I think I've already made a mistake. Um, I do believe what we want to do... Do I have upwardsly facing pipes? You know what? Check this out, peeps. Watch this. Making stuff and things in, in happen in real time. We will construct two of these bad boys. One. Two. Like a so. Then we will come out on Steve. Come over here, Steve. Stop, 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 Steve. All right, now. Access. Demolish. Nailed it. And we will go upwards. Like this. No, upwards. Nailed it. And now we will go the cross piece, of which we have one left. Let's make sure we place this correctly. Nailed it. And we will now grab these guys. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, you know you want a place right there. You know you you know you want to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, no. Oh, wow. Why is it such a pain in the butt? Oh, there we go. There we go. We had it. We had it. Now the days game is up. Now there's four. All right. So now we got four of them up there. They're going to fill up with water. What I want to do now, the next thing we want to check is how fast do these things work, man? So this doesn't look terrible. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty centered, actually. It's, it's, it's close to perfect. <laughs> If we moved it over a touch, but that would be expensive. So very close to perfect on the first try, which is not bad at all. Um, all right. So now we've got our water. What we're going to do is go ahead and start grabbing all of some stuff and things. Let's go ahead and make up some Kairuku kibble. I'm going to get all the bits together, get it all ready to rock for you guys, and then I'll be RBs. And we're back. All right, guys. Let's squirt some of these items inside of here. So here we've got our 20 eggs. 20 meat, 8 meat, some savaru, some berries. We got some of this bad boy. That's all the stuff and things that we need, I do believe. Yeah, yeah. We've got one of these guys like this, and then we'll go like so. We will then squirt these in here. Fill up all of your magical water, and we will squirt them back inside of here like a so. Oh, wait. We got one left. Okay, let's grab this guy. 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 Turn it on. Now the days can't be stopped. So now we should see. It says it's supposed to do... Oh, wow, that's fast. Oh, wow, that is fast. Oh, baby, that is so fast. 
Oh, it's so fast, baby. I love this. I'm really in excited about this right now. Three, three, three. Quick, 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 quick. Fill up. Oh, no, 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 no. We're out of water. Oh, no, because it only rained a little bit. We're going to need a lot more stuff in the... Oh, baby. Look how fast that works. That's crazy, man. It's crazy fast, and that's not going to make it happen. Oh, my God. This is the most amazing thing that ever happened. I can't even believe it. That is so fast. And now that we don't have any more... We need more. We need more water. We need a lot more water. Like, I don't know if the water tanks would ever be enough. Um, even if they were completely full, like, we would need tons and tons of water in order to do that. Now, really, really trying not to have to run piping. Oh, did I not bring them with me? Crap. I thought we brought the water down with me. I really, really don't want to have to run piping all the way down to to the river um, in order to make this work. Because the piping just kind of is ugly and it, it just doesn't look that great. So I'd rather not have to do that. Um, but I can't believe how fast that works. And I'm thinking I would need a lot of reservoirs. Um, each reservoir is going to hold five, um, I think, waters worth of water. Like five uh, water skins full. Five drinks worth. Um, and so we just need a lot more water to make that work. Um, so what I'm saying is I'm not really sure if, if the reservoirs each hold five. I mean, I can only make right now like 20 kibble and then they'd be done. Um, if we put another one up, it'd be 30 at a time. But what if we want... Wait, what are you doing, Slipgator? What if we wanted to make more than 30 at once? Um, I guess you wouldn't really need to ever make more than 30 at once. That's unbelievably fast! Are your hands in the air? Are you excited? Mine are. Uh, okay, so that's crazy how quick it is that that makes the kibble. I'm blown away right now. Blown away. Um, so we got to think about water. And yeah, that's it. I'll give it a little bit of a think. I'll be our beast peeps. And we're back. I was just reading down. That was really... And we're back! Um, <laughs> I was just reading through some Reddit stuff and things. And the great and powerful Jat has said that the cooker will eventually be able to interface with some piping. So water will like be in it. You won't need to fill it up. So for now, I think this is kind of how we're going to run it. We're just gonna run it with some um, some of these guys, and then since it's non -temp since it's temporary, it's non permanent. We're just gonna leave it like this. We're just leave it like this. Maybe I'll put a couple more reservoirs for now, um, but yeah, that's gonna be it, peeps. So we got some bunk beds. The new industrial cooker is a thing. It looks amazing. It's really really fun. These new these new building things are really fun. I'm really psyched about it. So I've got actually a long day ahead of me. Stuff off camera that I think we're gonna do. I have a lot of gathering of resources. I'm completely out of like all metal. I don't have any cementing paste. I've got to get a bunch of that stuff, so I'm going to go and do that now, guys. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you had fun hanging out. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and show your support. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you.